everyone in this video we will discuss about the question number 10 of gate 2018 so the question is asking which one of the following metabolic processes in the mammalian cells does not require or uh, sorry does not occur in the mitochondria fatty acid cycle oxidative phosphorylation fatty acid beta oxidation and glycolysis so let's see the processes one by one so in glycolysis this occurs in the cytoplasm so basically uh, glucose will enter in the glycolysis here in the cytosol and it will be converted to the glucose 6 phosphate then fructose 6 phosphate and ultimately it will be converted to two molecules of pyruvate so one glucose molecule can give two molecules of pyruvate at the end of uh, glycolysis so this is the end product of the glycolysis so this entire process occurs in the cytoplasm and about the TCA cycle or citric acid cycle this uh, pyruvate will be converted to the acetyl CoA by the pyruvate uh, dehydrogen kinase enzymes so now this uh, yeah so now this acetyl CoA will enter to the mitochondria and after interacting with the uh, oxaloacetate it will form citrate and it will enter into the TCA cycle or Krebs cycle or uh, citric acid cycle so this entire process of the TCA cycle or citric acid cycle it occurs in the uh, matrix of the mitochondria so glucose occurs in the cytosol but citric uh, sorry glycolysis occurs in the cytosol but the TCA cycle occurs in the mitochondria regarding the oxidative phosphorylation you can see the um, in glycolysis there is formation of NADH from NAD plus so this NADH will release electron to form NAD plus and the release electron will be traversed to the uh, to this electron transfer transfer chain which is embedded in the uh, inner membrane of the mitochondria and it is composed of four complexes complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 and complex 4 so briefly this release electron will traverse through this complex 1 and it will be received to the uh, Q in the uh, inner membrane of the mitochondria. Similarly, through the uh, when this succinate will be converted into, into the fumarate, it will release electron that will be re received by the Q in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So now after receiving the electrons, Q will be reduced to form QH2. So now this QH2 will uh, it is mobile so it will be mobilized to complex 3 and in the complex 3 it will donate its electron to the cytochrome c so after receiving the electron uh, cytochrome c will be reduced and this reduced cytochrome c become uh, mobile so it will uh, be mobilized from complex 3 and it will uh, travel to the complex 4 where it will donate its electron to oxygen so after receiving the electron the oxygen will become h2 so in this way the electron transfer through this electron transfer chain the flow of electron actually takes place where the electrons from nadh and uh, this you know succinate to fumarate conversion the released electron will be uh, actually uh, travel to these four complexes uh, which are embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria and finally it will be uh, these electrons will be received by the oxygen so oxygen is the terminal ele terminal electron acceptor here so as the oxygen is the final electron acceptor so that's why this process is oxidative and this electron uh, flow through this you know this uh, electron flow through this electron transfer chain and uh, and the final acceptance by the oxygen so this entire thing is coupled by ATP is ATP synthesis by ATP synthesis so which is not shown in the picture there is a in the inner membrane of you know mitochondria there is a enzyme called ATP synthesis so this is your ATP synthesis and this ATP synthesis this is also embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria so this so uh, this electron transfer through the electron transfer chain is 
directly coupled to the ATP formation by this ATP synthase enzyme. Both of the electron transfer chain component and ATP synthase they are embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So uh, as this electron electron flow through this electron transfer chain will uh, is coupled to the ATP formation and we know that ATP formation how is it happening the ADP will be phosphorylated to form the ATP ADP will accept a phosphate to be phosphorylated and form ATP right so this phosphorylation of ADP to form ATP this is the phosphorylation term here so that's why this entire process is known as oxidative phosphorylation where electrons will be transferred and terminally accepted by the oxygen so that's why it is oxidative and it is coupled to the phosphorylation of the ATP to form ATP so that's why this entire process is known as oxidative uh, phosphorylation and this uh, entire thing happens in the uh, inner membrane of the mitochondria so that's why this process also occurs in the mitochondria uh, next the last one is the fatty acid oxidation uh, in the case of fatty acid oxidation initially this fatty acyl coa that will be converted to the fatty acyl carnitine by the carnitine acyl transferase and only after uh, converted to fatty acyl carnitine it can it can uh, travel through the membrane of mitochondria and then it will come into the matrix of the mitochondria and after coming into the matrix this carnitine group of the fatty acyl group will be replaced by the coa then it will form fatty acyl coa and this will enter into the into the uh, fatty acid beta oxidation cycle uh, sorry fatty acid beta oxidation and then uh, this will be ultimately give the end product of the acetyl coa after the oxidation right so this entire process of beta oxid uh, fatty acid beta oxidation it occurs in the matrix of the mitochondria so this is also happened in the mitochondria right similarly oxidative phosphorylation this is also in mitochondria right so now we can look about the options uh, so citric acid cycle or tca cycle it, so it occurs in the mitochondria oxidative phosphorylation is also occurs in the mitochondria in the inner membrane of the mitochondria we discussed and fatty acid beta oxidation it also occurs in the matrix of the uh, mitochondria but the glycolysis it does not occurs in the mitochondria rather it occurs in the cytosol so option d is the correct glycolysis which does not occur in the mitochondria 